Hi, my name's Alex, I'm from Sony Ericsson. Today I'm going to show you how to set up email and synchronize your contacts using the new Sony Ericsson Vivaz handset. So to get started setting up your email on the Sony Ericsson Vivaz handset and also being able to synchronize your contacts, we use a client called RoadSync. Now you have two ways of accessing this. You can either set it as a shortcut on the panel on the far right hand side of the handset or by pressing the main icon and then going into Organizer at the top corner you'll see Road Sync. When you select this, the screen that you'll first see is your options screen. Now this will come up only after you put in all of the settings that you'll get from either your IT department or whether you're already aware of them. The two main elements that you need to set up email using this server are your server address and your domain name. The rest of it is your username and password which you should be familiar with by logging into something like Outlook Express on your PC or laptop. So getting started in this, if you press Options and then go to Settings, inside here you'll have three options. You can either change the type of connection that you use from, say, the GPRS connection that you would have in the handset to a wireless LAN connection. Or you can turn out of office on or off, which means that if you're away from your desk or away from your email, you can then activate that from the handset so that anyone emailing you from that point onwards knows that you won't be able to retrieve or read the mail to a later point. Or you can go into the settings. When you're inside the settings, you've got a load of different options. When you click on the top option, you'll notice that there's panels across the top. These panels are exactly the same as the menu options that you have down here. So if we go for the first one, and we'll run through them in order. First of all, you have the main settings tab. This is the information that you'll input the very first time you set up the application. First of all, we have your username, then your password, the server name, domain name, and whether to use a secure connection or not. At the bottom, you have your access point. As I said, that's something you can change at a later date from either the GPRS or HSDPA connection of the handset to a Wi-Fi point or anything similar. The next part on the screen is your schedules. On here, this gives you the option to tell the handset when to synchronize when you're out and about. You have two types, you have your peak schedule and your off-peak schedule. You determine what your peak schedule days and start and finish time are. So effectively, you can have the handset to, to push your emails through Monday through Friday from 8 in the morning till 6 at night. Again, these are completely variable, so depending on the type of shifts that you do, you can arrange the times to suit. You can also turn it on whether you want to actually download or receive emails while roaming abroad. Obviously this would incur larger charges, so check with your network first. The next panel along is purely down to the email element. First of all, you can select whether you synchronize email at all or not. You then have the date range, which you can change from three days to one week or a month or anything longer. Email size as well. This is quite important depending on the size of the data package that you have with your account. Obviously, the larger the email size, then the more information it's downloading on every single sync. You can also choose the type of font. You've also got whether you actually have pop-ups or not, whether to confirm the deletion, and also delete sent items anytime after two weeks, one week, a day, or even at the end of every single day. You can also change your signature at the bottom so that people know you're sending an email back using a handset and don't expect a full answer, for example. The next panel along is your calendar. This is where you can determine whether to synchronize the calendar at all. You then have the date range, so this will take it two weeks previous and two weeks in advance. And then you've also got resetting the data, so if you want to clear your calendar on the handset, you can do that from here as well. The next option is an important one for synchronizing your contacts. If you have all of your contacts set up in, for example, Microsoft Outlook, then you can synchronize that directly to the handset, saving you sitting and inputting all the details in one at a time. Simply turn this on, and that'll then synchronize all of the contacts that you have on your PC or laptop. The next option is for tasks. So if you regularly use tasks to remind you of different jobs throughout the day, you can synchronize this and time them to come on and update on the handset as well. And then the last option is the more detailed settings. You have the ability to turn verbose logging on and off. You can reset all the data and affect deleting everything you've already set up. 
change the access point or completely disable RoadSync as a client. When you're finished, press the back key, it'll take you back to the list of options again that you can select independently. Press back again and it'll take you back to this screen. When ready, press options and sync. This will then go online, synchronise everything you've selected to have synced and then push it through to the handset. When it's completed, you don't use this application to read any of your mail or your contacts. The great thing about RoadSync is it completely operates throughout the main menus of the Vivaz handset. So to go into your messaging, press on here and you'll see that RoadSync has mail set up already. Inside here you've got all the emails that you've received that day and then you can look across the top to different parts like sent or anything sitting in your outbox ready to go. It's exactly the same story with your contacts. Press on contacts in the main menu and then it'll bring up any contacts that have been synchronised with the device. Come out of that and it'll take you back to the main screen. As I say, you can either save the road sync option as a shortcut here or access it via the main menu through the organiser. Thanks very much for watching this clip on how to set up email and synchronise your contacts using the new Sony Ericsson Vivaz handset. Look out for some more clips online.